So when we're doing dealing with multiplication and division, um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do, when you have two um, numbers that are in scientific notation, to multiply them, basically all we're going to do is multiply our a times our m, or I'm sorry, our a times our b, and then we're going to use the properties of exponents to add our n and our m, our powers. So that's going to be times 10 to the n plus m. Because if you guys remember the properties of exponents, when you multiply like x squared times x cubed, that equals x to the 2 plus 3. right? You guys remember your properties of exponents? So it's going to be the same thing with scientific notation. So in this problem, basically what I need to do is I need to first multiply these two numbers. So I'm going to do that the long way, because I'm not going to have a calculator. So I'll do 4.8 times 2.1. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 4 is going to be 4. 0 placeholder. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Add my two rows. 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 plus 6 is 10. 9 plus 1 is 10. I move my decimal point over 1, 2. So therefore, I have an answer of 10.08 times 10 to the eighth power. Does everybody see that? Now, but here's the question, Paige, what is wrong with my answer? Because I did, I have not finalized this. And it's right above my head is the answer. No, it's not. I erased it. What do we know about our A? A has to be between what? 1 and 10. So is this between 1 and 10? Huh? No, so I have to move it one more unit. So it's going to be 1.008 and then times 10. Oops. Well, I guess you go to the answer. So now you guys see, since I moved it to the left, that means I have to go one more space to the right to get back to my same answer. So that's why it's 10 to the 9th. I guess I just gave you an answer. That makes sense? Questions? OK. And we'll do one more, guys, and then we'll take a break.